Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Cheryl and on this channel we talk about all things beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. So if you're interested in any of those things, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss another video. I will be doing a collective haul and I want to share with you some of the items that I have been picking up over these past few months. So if you would like to see the items that I have picked up, please keep watching. I have a couple of accessory pieces, three dresses, three handbags, and three pair of shoes. And for one of the pair of shoes that I want to show you, I'm going to do a quick unboxing with those shoes. I've already unboxed them and I'll probably pop up a video of me doing that, but I just wanted to show you how the shoes came in case you were interested. So let's go ahead and jump into these accessories. So the first accessory that I want to show you is this layered necklace that I picked up from Nordstrom Rack. So as you can see, it does have the C for my initials and then you have the little circle pendant there. So it is one necklace and it has the one clasp, but it does give you that layering effect. And you know how I love to layer my necklaces, but this just makes it simple and easy to do it all in one swoop. So this is the layered necklace that I picked up from Nordstrom Rack and it is called called the Adonia Initial Pendant Layer Chain Necklace. So that is accessory number one. For accessory number two, there are these aviator sunglasses that I picked up from Amazon. And I have these with the gold frame and the gradient brown lens. I also have these in the silver frame with the clear lens. And I absolutely love those sunglasses. These are just the most perfect pair of sunglasses you can wear these with anything and what i love most about these sunglasses is that you can wear them during the day at night outdoors and indoors and you can have conversations with people and they can still see your eyes absolutely love these sunglasses and they are becoming one of my number one faves amazon is always a hit when it comes to sunglasses pretty much all of my sunglasses come from amazon and trust me they do not miss so let's move on to handbags the first handbag that i want to show you i actually picked this up from tj maxx i think either tj maxx or marshall's i honestly i can't remember and it is this handbag of course it's a dupe to one of the bottega handbags and i just love how slouchy and big and just carefree it is you can just throw it on and run and do whatever it is that you need to do without a care in the world it's big enough to carry all of my handbag essentials and anything extra that i want to have in the handbag I actually carried it with me tonight when we went to dinner and it was perfect i didn't have much in it but i thought it went with my outfit perfectly and it was just a nice carefree bag and it's very light and comfortable on the shoulder as well so this is one of my recent purchases since i carried it today let's just do a quick what's in my bag and see what i have so look at what it looks like on the inside the opening is not that big but um that's completely fine it's big enough to reach in and out of it it has this little um chevron cloth material like interior it has a zipper in the back if you wanted to hide some things and it does have two slip pockets on the inside so what i have in the purse is my louis vuitton toiletry 15 and inside of that i just have hand sanitizer i have a compact mirror and i have some summer fridays lip gloss and then i have my charlotte tilbury lip liner so that's in the toiletry bag then I have my six ring key holder, which was unbuttoned and keys were all over the place. That shouldn't be the case, but that is the case. And then I have my card holder. And I believe, oh, and then I also have my Chanel lotion that must have fallen out of the toiletry bag. So those are all the items that I had in this bag. Everything that I needed to be out for dinner. So. 
I thought that this was a really nice buy. They also had it in black, but I feel like I have enough black bags, so I just went with this nude, which I also have a lot of nude handbags too. But anyway, I went with this one and I love it. So that's handbag number one. Let's take a look at the other two handbags. So for the next two handbags, they are exactly the same, but just two different colors. Because as you know, if I like something it comes in multiples, I'm just going to get multiples. So I do have this green handbag. It is a dupe to one of the Gucci handbags. I'm not going to even try to pronounce the name of that handbag because I will butcher it. But it is a dupe to that handbag. And when that handbag first came out, I thought it was a really nice looking handbag, but I wasn't too intrigued enough to want to buy it it just wasn't on my radar to have in my collection but then fast forward a couple of years later and i found this one on amazon in this color green and for some reason i have been really wanting to have a green handbag and i just thought that this was the perfect addition to my collection and the reason why i started gravitating towards a green handbag is when i purchased these steve madden sandals i've had these for a few years now i've had these for a while but i don't know for some reason every time i look at these shoes i focus on the color green there are a ton of colors in these shoes we have yellow pink black light blue purple but for some reason the green stands out to me i don't know if it stands out to you or if you can see it at all but for some reason that green just stands out to me and i really wanted a green handbag so when i saw this one i just thought it would be perfect together so this is what they look like together i haven't worn it together yet i have worn the handbag love it but i haven't worn them together i absolutely plan on doing so but when i saw this bag in this green color i was like yeah i have to have it and guys the handbag was 20 dollars. like of course i was going to get it and then get it in another color it was twenty dollars so let's just look at the details of the handbag it looks like this it is that faux crocodile material and although it is like that faux crocodile material it's not hard and structured like you can see i'm able to squeeze it just like this is very pliable so i do love that also love that it has like this gunmetal color on the chain i don't have too many handbags that come in that gunmetal color so i do love that and you have the little gunmetal material on the clasp right here like in that horseshoe shape and when you open it up you have two compartments here and you have a zipper compartment there and you have a really thin slip pocket in the front and then this is just a flap it's not usable it's just there for design and it's just a magnetic snap closure i wish it had a pocket in the back so i could easily get to my cell phone but it doesn't have that so that is one thing that i wish the handbag had so i didn't have to you know worry about opening up the handbag but nonetheless i do like the look of the bag and i love the functionality of it so this is what it looks like on the shoulder with the double chain and this is mainly how i wear it most of the time but of course you can wear it with the one chain to make it a little bit longer this would be best if you wanted to wear it crossbody that would be a better way to wear it so this is the first handbag from amazon let's see the second one like i said the second handbag is the exact same as the green one but i have it in a different color and i have it in this nude faux crocodile color and it also has that same gun metal material on the chain as well as on the buckle right here and beautiful handbag again it's a nude i know i said i had too many black handbags now i'm starting to think i have too many nude handbags but this is just gorgeous like how could i pass this up and again it was twenty dollars on Amazon like why would I not get this bag so gorgeous gorgeous handbag I actually could have worn this handbag today to go out to dinner but I opt to wear that one because I hadn't used it yet and I've worn this one I think two or three times already as well so really really cute handbag it has all of the same functionality as the green one it just comes in this really pretty 
nude neutral color so this is my third handbag purchase that i picked up over these past few months that i absolutely love so we're going to move on to clothing pieces and i do have three dresses that i want to share with you the first dress that i have is from amazon and it is this bodycon square neck midi length dress and i have it in the color black it is really nice it has like that rib material i don't know if you can see that and he's in the midi length so it does come almost to my calves and then it has a high split on the side so i really love that it has these nice thick straps so it's not those thin spaghetti straps or like the racer back so i love that i love how stretchy it is it's very comfortable on the body it's a nice piece to wear in the summertime and still be nice and cool and then you can also transition this into the fall and you can wear like a blazer or a sweater or a cardigan over it that is dress number one let's go on to our next two dresses so for our next two dresses i did pick these up from express and i found this mock neck sleeveless mini sweater dress in the color swan on clearance and guys i didn't pay anything for this I didn't have to pay anything for this dress. I used my Express Cash and I got this completely free. I didn't even have to pay for shipping. So this was a definitely a win situation. Beautiful dress. I have worn this once a picture or a video or something of me wearing it. And gorgeous dress. Very comfortable. Very soft on the skin it feels so good so and although it says it's a mini dress it's not that short surprisingly so this was a, a very good buy or actually a very good gift because i didn't have to pay anything so that is the first dress that i picked up from express let's take a look at the second one this is a dress that i already have in two other colors and then i saw this color and i was like yeah give it to me i have to have it as well um and again i did use my express cash for this dress and i think i had a coupon code that i was able to combine with the express cash and i ended up paying 18 dollars for this dress this dress is originally 78 dollars, and i only paid 18 dollars for it and she is adorable and i really bought this color dress to go with the shoes that i'm going to unbox at the end of this video and i think that this would be a perfect birthday outfit and then when i show you the shoes you want to see that it goes with the shoes perfectly so those are the three clothing pieces that i picked up So like I said, I did pick up three pairs of shoes and the first two pairs that I'm going to show you are both from Nordstrom Rack and they were on sale. So the first pair are these Kurt Geiger cream sandals. You guys, look how gorgeous these shoes are. I love that chocolate quilted padding in the sole of the shoe. That is just beautiful. When I saw this on the website i was sold i was like i need them and i wish that you could feel how soft the cushion is it is a very soft a very comfortable pair of shoes um i love that the heel isn't too high these are probably like a three inch heel and then it comes with this little gold lock on the buckle just a really really cute shoe and they're very comfortable too um you would think that with this tiny little strap right here that they wouldn't be as comfortable but they are very comfortable i feel like my feet are very secure in these shoes and then i love how it has the symbol right here on the heel of the shoe very beautiful and i have these in a size 40 which i think is like a us size 9 and it's just a great great pair of shoes now the one thing that i hate about shoes when you buy them from nordstrom rack is they come with the sticker and the labels like all over the shoe so it had like two stickers on the inside and it had some stickers on the bottom and i was just being a very meticulous very careful when i was removing those stickers because i just didn't want like the little sticky tape left on the shoe especially on this beautiful interior like why would i want paper and tape and glue all over that i didn't want it so luckily i didn't have any issues it didn't leave any residue so this is shoe number one let's move on to shoe number two the shoes that i have are by the brand bagla mishka and they are pretty much the dupe to the manolo blonic heels and i already have them in the color black i shared these in one of my shoe collection videos so i already have them in black 
but I saw that these were on sale at Nordstrom Rack and I had to pick them up and I have them in this really pretty electric blue color I think that these are very reminiscent to the Manolo Blahnik shoes I've said this in my shoe collection video um I, there's not really much of a difference I mean the heel may be a little different but pretty much I feel like the shoes look pretty identical to those but at a fraction of the cost and like I said I these are satin material so I cannot see myself paying retail price for a satin shoe that I either have to be very careful when I wear them so that means I'm not going to wear them that often or be at risk of damaging them because they are so delicate so when I saw that bag Lamishka pretty much had the same shoe I was like yes that is the brand that I am going to go with so I have it in black and then I was able to pick it up in this iconic electric blue color these are my latest shoe purchase that I am loving and looking forward to wear so this is the last pair of shoes that I picked up from Boston Rack. So I saved these shoes for last because they just deserve to have their own moment. And I am just so in love with them. I am obsessed with this brand of shoe. And if you've watched my other videos, you have heard me say over and over and over that I love this brand. This is my favorite designer brand when it comes to shoes so if you know what that is stop the video right now run to the comments and tell me what that brand is because i have said it i know i've said it at least three times on my channel that this is my favorite designer brand so if you know what that is stop the video run to the comments plug it in and then come back and press play but i am talking about none other than valentino valentino is my favorite designer shoe and let me tell you why it's my favorite designer shoe these are my favorite because one they go on sale i have this is my third pair of valentino shoes and each one of them i bought on sale like i did not pay full price for them now yes the sale price was expensive but the retail price is expensive so sale price yes i will definitely pay sale price for them but i love the fact that these do go on sale and then number two i love that they are comfortable like they are wearable shoes i wear my valentinos all day i can wear them to work all day walking floor to floor taking the stairs i have no issues most comfortable designer shoes to me i haven't had any issues i have no complaints about them so i love that about it and then another thing that i like about this brand is that i don't see too many people wearing them like not a lot of people that i know have valentinos i like not seeing everybody wearing these shoes when i'm out and about so i love that about it and then I also love just how they look like they are just the most attractive pair of shoes and i just love how edgy and classy they are i just feel like these shoes match my personality to a t if i were a shoe i would definitely be this shoe so i'm gonna stop rambling on and on and on about why i love these shoes so much and then just show you the shoes so i bought these shoes a few months actually i bought them from my Teresa, which is an international online retailer and they were having a huge sale like i believe these shoes may have been like 30 percent off or something like that so i ran to get them so i had them for a couple of months and um they've still been in the box because i actually want to wear these for my birthday my birthday isn't into october so that's why i've just kept them in the box so it did come in like this really big yellow my Teresa box i'll show you in the video and then of course it came like nicely wrapped with a dust bag and some other valentino materials that comes with all unboxings but then you take all of the tissue paper off and here are the shoes oh. y'all tell me they are not gorgeous tell me that these shoes are not gorgeous i love that they're in this nude color because you know nude is my jam so they're in this really pretty like bronze nude color they could definitely go with the outfit that i'm wearing today but um i bought them to wear with this dress and i think that will go 
so nicely you know with the perfect handbag so that's why i bought that dress because i thought it would look so good with these shoes but let's just get a close-up of the shoe i mean they look exactly like the other ones they're just in a different color but um i just love the color i love the color of the studs my other ones are like a light gold but these are more of like a bronze color so 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 pretty so pretty and um the sizing was limited on these because i don't know i guess they were on sale so people were buying them up so i did get these in a size 40 i typically would get a size 40 and a half but these fit perfectly and i think it's because these are leather so they're going to stretch a little bit more the black ones are a patent leather so they're a lot stiffer and they're not going to give as much so i'm glad i did get those in a half size up but these are like my normal size us 9 and they fit perfectly like no issues with the strap being too tight or anything like that so just a really really gorgeous shoe i'm so excited to wear these again you can wear these dressed up like with the dress i just showed you i could wear it casually with the outfit that i'm wearing right now which are just like straight leg jeans i can wear it with some denim like the opportunities are endless when it comes to this shoe so i am looking forward to wearing these shoes out like just wearing them down to the ground well i'm not gonna wear them down to the ground because i don't wear any of my shoes down to the ground but i'm looking forward to wearing these a whole lot so you look forward to seeing them in a whole lot of pictures sorry not sorry <laughs> guys those are all of the things that i picked up over these past few months i will link anything that i can down in the description box below if you have any questions let me know and before you leave don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye